DreamWorks Animation has announced the release of a new spin-off to How to Train Your Dragon. 30-minute animated movie explores the mysterious origins of the Night Fury species, focusing on a new character. The story focuses on a young dragon separate from the ones we've come to know in the main series, discovering an ancient hidden part of the archipelago. This unexplored area is filled with secrets and mysteries, including an old dragon civilization that has long been forgotten by the outside world. This adventure not only expands expands the lore of the How to Train Your Dragon universe, but also introduces audiences to new dragon species and their abilities, ancient traditions, and the idea that there are still vast mysteries waiting to be discovered in the world of Vikings and dragons. The spin-off concludes with the young dragon deciding to keep the secret of the lost civilization, understanding that some treasures are meant to be preserved rather than exploited. The project has already been put into production, including a live-action movie directed by Dean de Blois, the author of the original animated trilogy. The film will be titled simply How to Train Your Dragon and is slated for release on June 13th, 2025. However, the release date could be subject to change given the project's current stage of development. Similar to the original animated series, the new How to Train Your Dragon will draw inspiration from the books by British author Cressida Cowell. This series, consisting of 13 novels, serves as a memoir of Hiccup's youth on his journey to becoming a tribal leader. The 2010 animated adaptation not only brought renewed interest to the book series, but also significantly broadened its fan base, garnering a large following of devoted readers. The live-action adaptation of How to Train Your Dragon is set to faithfully replicate the narrative of the animated trilogy's inaugural film, with additional content derived from Cressida Cowell's novels to enrich the storyline. This rendition will focus on the young Viking, Hiccup, hailing from the Isle of Burke. Universal Pictures announced last year that Mason Thames would embody Hiccup character. The decision to cast Mason Thames as Hiccup introduces a new face to an iconic role, promising a fresh interpretation of the character's journey from outcast to hero. Known for his intellectual prowess over physical strength, Hiccup diverges from his community's dragon-slaying pursuits. His objective is to earn the admiration of his father, Stoic, the esteemed chieftain of the village. Jared Butler, who lent his voice to Stoic in the animated series, will reprise his role, a decision that has been met with enthusiasm from the the franchise's fans. While the age difference precludes the return of the original voice actors for other characters in a live-action format, Butler's continuation as Stoic remains an exception. As the narrative of the live-action How to Train Your Dragon unfolds, Hiccup's journey reveals that dragons are not the menacing creatures they are made out to be. His relationship with Toothless, a dragon he trains, becomes a pivotal moment showcasing the possibility of harmony between Vikings and dragons. This groundbreaking interaction ushers in a new epic where dragon riders become celebrated figures paving the way for a succession of sequels and spin-off series. In the realm of cinematic reboots and remakes, comparisons between the original and the new iterations are inevitable, particularly regarding iconic roles. However, the casting of Gerard Butler as Stoic in the live-action version offers a unique continuity. Butler's distinctive Scottish accent and his portrayal of Stoic in the animated films lend an authentic and familiar quality to the character which might make direct comparisons less pertinent. His return to the role underscores the blend of new and old, providing a bridge between the original animated series and its live-action reinterpretation, and highlights the creative ways in which the new film seeks to honor its source material while introducing fresh perspectives. This continuity in casting Gerard Butler as Stoic not only serves to maintain a link to the beloved animated trilogy, but also enriches the live-action adaptation with a sense of nostalgia and authenticity. Butler's portrayal of Stoic has been celebrated for its depth and warmth warmth characteristics that contributed significantly to the character's appeal in the animated series. By bringing Butler back for the live-action film, the producers ensure that at least one key element of the original series remains intact, offering fans a familiar anchor in a new format. Moreover, Butler's return is a testament to the impact of voice acting on character development and audience connection. His performance as Stoic was both powerful and nuanced, capturing the Viking chief's formidable presence alongside his tender relationship with his son Hiccup. Transitioning this dynamic to a live-action setting with the same actor adds a layer of continuity that is rare in film adaptations, where the transition from animation to live-action often involves complete recasting. Nico Parker will portray Astrid, Hiccup's love interest, and a skilled Viking warrior. Nick Frost will take on the role of Gobber the Belch, Stoic's closest advisor, and Burke's blacksmith, known for his humorous wisdom and dragon training expertise. Additionally, the cast includes Julian Dennison as Fishlegs, originally 
voiced by Christopher Mintz Plasse in the animation. Gabriel Howell as Snoutlout, taking over the role from Jonah Hill, Bronwyn James as Roughnut, and Harry Trevaldwin as Tough Nut. This ensemble promises to bring a fresh and dynamic interpretation to the cherished story under the direction of Dean DeBlois. Fans of the franchise and newcomers alike are looking forward to seeing how this talented cast will bring the world of Vikings and Dragons to the big screen in a new and exciting way. The filming of How to Train Your Dragon began in January in Northern Ireland. This location is known for its scenic landscapes, which likely provides a fitting backdrop for the Viking-themed narrative of the movie. Northern Ireland has been a popular location for filming various high-profile projects, especially those requiring dramatic and natural scenery that can convincingly represent ancient or mythical settings. The choice of Ireland as a filming location aligns with the movie's ambition to bring the fantastical world of Vikings and dragons to life with as much authenticity and visual splendor as possible. The region's diverse landscapes, from rugged coastlines to lush green fields and imposing castles, offer a versatile setting that can support the epic scale of the How to Train Your Dragon story. This step into production marks a significant milestone for the project, signaling its move from pre-production into the actual filming phase, where the actors, directors, and crew bring the script and characters to life. The start of filming is always a moment of excitement and anticipation for both the filmmakers and the fans as it brings the project one step closer to completion and eventual release to audiences worldwide. The budget for the How to Train Your Dragon live-action remake has not been disclosed, but given Universal Pictures' track record and ambitions, it's expected to be substantial. The film's success hinges on the realistic portrayal of dragons, which are as central to the narrative as the Viking characters themselves. Achieving a high level of believability with these creatures necessitates advanced computer graphics and special effects, which are typically resource-intensive. The industry has seen instances where filmmakers have created compelling visual stories with relatively modest budgets, especially in Japanese cinema, where ingenuity often compensates for financial constraints. However, the scale and expectations for a project like How to Train Your Dragon, combined with Universal's commitment to quality, suggest that the investment in special effects will be significant to meet audience expectations for realism and fidelity to the animated originals. High-quality visual effects are crucial for bringing the dragons to life, ensuring they resonate with audiences as genuine characters rather than mere CGI creations. This aspect of production is particularly challenging and costly but essential for the film's success. The anticipation surrounding the live-action remake is heightened by the beloved status of the animated trilogy, placing additional pressure on the filmmakers to deliver a product that honors the original while offering a new and engaging cinematic experience. The casting of actors like Mason Tams, Nico Parker, and Gerard Butler under the direction of Dean DeBlois signals a serious commitment to capturing the essence of the original films. DeBlois' involvement is particularly noteworthy as his direction of the animated trilogy ensures a continuity of vision in the adaptation process. Universal's decision to pursue a live-action remake of How to Train Your Dragon reflects a broader industry trend of reimagining successful animated films with real actors and settings. While this strategy involves considerable risks, particularly in terms of meeting fan expectations and justifying the financial outlay, it also offers significant rewards. A successful adaptation can rejuvenate interest in the franchise, extend its commercial life, and pave the way for future projects both within the How to Train Your Dragon universe and for other animated properties. The project's success will ultimately depend on its ability to balance technical excellence with storytelling fidelity, creating a film that appeals to fans of the original series and new audiences alike.